Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, man. Today we got a market full of bears. Bears, oh bears, oh bears, oh bears. Man, <laughs> let me tell you guys. It's, oh, let me turn the noise down here. Um, yeah, a lot's going on, man. A lot of things going on. I'm hoping to uh, really go over with you guys exactly what to do. Don't you worry. You have us here today to review what to do and answer all your questions. I am Vlad. If you're new here, welcome. Thomas J. Kerr. What's up, man? How are you? Um, yeah, today is going to be a big day to review what happens and how do we handle this whole shenanigan, right? We still have great opportunities out there. We still have a lot of things going on over there. So it's all about getting the right moves at the right time, man. So how's everybody feeling? Before we begin, I want to get, get everybody to say hello. Kareen Robinson, Jeffrey Sider, Thomas J. Kerr, Val Altred, all you guys, everybody in the room, say hello so we could get this going. Uh, Lori, how are you? So, Lori, welcome back. Hope everything's good. I know you were MIA last week. Missed you here. So, what is going on in the market? Okay, what's up, Gerald? Um, the market is bearish. Now, <clears throat> I like to look at things that, and patterns. I told you guys last week, you know, you want to kind of check out and see what's going on and why is it doing what it's doing. Um, is it going to be bullish? Is it going to be bearish? I told you I wasn't sure. And today we got a confirmation. Now we got to look at when is the good time to get in in such a market. Uh, hopefully you didn't have any too crazy positions going in to the weekend. Usually it's not a good thing to do anyways. So, but today we will review the deal. So let's get right into it, man. Who's down to get right into it? My boy Elliot's right next to me over here. What's up, Elliot? How are you? Feeling good? See. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So. This is what we're looking at right now. This is what the market is. This is the SPY. So what am I seeing? Now, a lot of people have been looking at this move over here saying, hey, man, now all of a sudden we got big downturn all the way. Well, guess what, guys? You might be looking at it on a very broad spectrum of the straight line, but that's not what's happening. What's happening is the stock went hit a stretch and it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is calm down a little bit. Had a little bit of an upswing like we talked about that week, which was a good bullish week. And now it's continuing its downtrend. That's all it's doing. Now, the question should be, well, how down is down, right? Well, there's different cases, different things that we got to check out. Uh, first, I want to say hello to Bob Benish, Coach Brett. Oh, man, bro, I, I did sit-ups this morning. I was so happy. I'm trying to get back into this fitness life. So thanks to you, Coach Brett Harding. Martini Aguero, what's up? Aguero, sorry, Richard Wall. Dennis Comba, what's up, man? All right, so yeah, basically, <clears throat> if we really look at this, couple things we got to look at. So the one thing is the stock obviously did not hold this 50-day moving av day average. So right away, that should have told us that, guess what? Um, unfortunately, it's down, but it's not a bad thing. We're just, we are professionals. We are waiting to get in at the right time. So a couple things you want to look at now, and I'm going to prove to you guys that nothing to worry about. From a short term, yes, it's a downturn. But from a, when we go to like a two-year chart, it's really going to show you a story right now. Watch this. So I'm going to go to a two-year chart. We're going to go on the weekly chart. This is where we're at. All the market is doing right now is preparing for opportunities. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by opportunities, I mean we're going to have some craziness going on. If you're joining us here today new, you probably want to come here on Thursdays and Tuesdays because we're going to show you some things that are crazy. Look at these moves. Because what we're looking at now is this pink line on a two-year chart. And what it's showing me is the stock is bullish. The market is always bullish, but it has these moments and weeks that it hits these lines and then pops open real strong. Okay. That's what happened. You can see here again, anytime it hits this pink line, which is rare, we're getting a rare opportunity. Here's another one. You see it kind of goes down and then poof again. <clears throat> okay, goes down again and look real sharp two weeks and then continued its move up again. And, and we could keep going. This has been the, the situation for a while where we have to worry is if it goes below this. So if, if we look at where, like, if we guys just zoom in a little bit here for you guys, if it goes, where's this line? Like it's hard to see, oh, yeah. huh? Oh, yeah, 455.95. So if it goes below 456. 
then we might be looking at a problem, especially if it's starting going to 450, because then we're talking about the next move at 430. Mm -hmm. But right now, we're exactly where we are. We're just, the problem is a lot of people panic because they look at a short-term view. If you're looking at a short-term view in this situation, yeah, man, the world's coming, up, coming apart. <clears throat> I see, uh, so I'm just saying this is going to happen. Anthony Violante, what's up? Anthony O'Neill, my man. See, I heard you guys had a good time. Yeah. He's killing it with stocks and other things. So, yeah, guys, don't go, don't fall into these little moves of like shortness. Not about it. We don't want to do that. This is looking good. We are prepared. We are locked and loaded. This group is all about getting the move to the upside. So, this right here is a pre preparation. Now that we understand this, now we could say, okay, guys, let's go into a different view. Now let's go to a one-year view and just to take a look on a daily, just to see what it looks like. Boom. Okay. Now it's a different story. On the daily view, we, we are preparing even more because we're seeing that the bearishness is still going down, but it's lining up perfectly with this trend. So again, if it's lining up perfectly with this trend, here you go perfectly what does it tell us well it's can this could be a good time for a reversal do we get in now absolutely not because we don't have a confirmation until we get confirmation we stick to our guns we stay patient okay now and if this has a potential to possibly even go all the way down here so that's what we're waiting for is it going to go to the downside or is it going to reverse i was thinking it's going to reverse last uh, today i was wrong and that happens I'm not a psychic. It was just a, it was just an opinion, but I also said we're waiting for confirmation. The confirmation is showing to the downside. We wait. That's what we do. At the end of the day, we are looking for like six good days of trading in the swing trading market. That's what we do. We do swing trading, so we could make money on a weekly basis. Not a big fan of day trading because it's just too quick. But something like this could be good. Can you just say that person's name for me? All right, cool. So yeah, so this is looking all right let's worry about the patients. What do you guys think? How do you guys feel about this? If, if you are a patient person ready to hold out on the market and get in the right time for the bigness of profits, give me some hearts. Let me get some hearts if you're ready for some for some good stuff. Deepti Sandu, how are you? Tom Kanishia, how are you? Christina Parazzi. Court uh, Cheap? No, Mar yeah. huh? yeah. I don't know what that is. That? No. Oh. <laughs> Cheers from Estonia. Marty Martin, what's up? Anil Mita, how are you? Justin He, <sighs> Anthony Violante. Oh thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. So today we're going to get into some stocks. If you are interested in checking out some of our stocks, let us know. Comment whatever stock ticker you want. We will look at it for you for sure. Sanjay, Brandon, more for more free. How are you? Uh, if you have any questions on this market, like I said, man, wait till the right time. I'm thinking if it gets a little bit above here to 465, even that's a good start. Man. Yeah, that's a good start. And we're gonna have an incredible, incredible week. Stay tuned, could be on Thursday coming to a theater near you. All right, guys. Um Look what I found. I could just do oh, this. And yeah, see. I just saw it and I'm like, that's that's cool, right? That's how you should operate right there. Yeah, like that. So I don't have to look at my phone. That's hard to do. I'm so used to it. I love it. All right, cool. And, oh, I love it. I can see it too. I don't even need my phone anymore. Yeah, you don't need the phone. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's get into this, guys. What stocks do we have for us AMD, here? CFL. AMD, right? Is that the first one? Yep. We're going right to AMD. Okay, so AMD um, looking like, oh, before we go to AMD, I apologize, guys. I forgot where I want to show you. I'm big on, on technology market. And as if you can see, the, the technology market is holding the same, same exact thing as the, the normal market. It's bearish. It's kind of breaking through this uh, support over here, looks like, right? So it's still bearish. I think the market controls, we want to see if it's going to reverse. And you can see everything's pointing to the downside right now. So overall, we still got a bearish, bearish market. We're waiting for the reversal. Please be patient. I want to make sure you guys are not allergic to money and you want to make money. If you have allergies to money, hmm. then do whatever you want. You could get into the market now and take a, take a gamble, see what happens. But I would wait. I would personally wait. 
All right, but doesn't mean there's some, not some stocks out there that we could make some money on. And let's check out AMD. So AMD is looking like we have some stuff going on here. Uh, so the markets, uh, I mean, sorry, the AMD looks like it has a turn over here. It's been going through this downtrend and it's been pretty consistent with it. And, but here's the thing about this. It's a little different because now it's in a consolidation in the short term. So it's ready to pop up. Our goal is to see this thing go above 145 if you're going to invest in it. If you really want some good money on this, patience. Today's keyword is P to the A, T, I, E, and Q. Anyways, patience. Um, say that guy's name. Exactly. No, I forget. No, I don't know. Well, Jay Stanley. I, got. From earlier? I can't see that. So I can't see those people. Uh, so I'm still back in the action here. All right. Uh, G Gene Allo Bodies. How are you? Minda Mindages Val Velutis, how are you? Raj Betty. Yeah, uh, CFLT, we got you. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so yeah, if this gets to 147, 145-ish, we are looking like we're in good shape. The, the key is breaking this blue line, man. This right here is the key. If it gets to like around 152, man, or like 155, we are looking at a huge break to the top. Also, this may go down because we're right in that situation where it could do any of those. If it gets to 117, this could be a good put option. And then we are on our way to the bottom, making money. If you don't know how that is, watch the movie Big Short. They go over that. You could really make some sick money doing it. Dan Lehman, one of our new members. What's up, man? How are you? One of our new elite members. And guys, what I do is I specialize in one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is one of our elite coaches, the man, the legend, Elliot. If you are looking to get some clarity on the market, that's what we're all about. Okay, if you're interested, we have different programs. We have group coaching. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Whatever it is that you're looking to do, we have comment coaching below, and I would love to talk to you and see where you're at in life and see if we could help you out possibly. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, let us know. It's obviously an investment, but we, I will provide you with a free webinar to help you out as well. No problem, man. And Dan, thanks for joining, man. Thank you. All right, so AMD... Like I said, it's a waiting game, but I think this could be a good one. Just wait. Patience. What's up, Joanne? We got you. Aloha. I hope I say it right. I apologize if I don't. Joanne Allo Vadis. Sound right. That sounds right, right? I, I said it with confidence. Put down the coach. You could write it here, too. Like I just got it for you right here. <laughs> I thought today's your day of fitness. What's your next? CFLT. CFLT. If you're interested in any stocks for us to go over, this is what we're all about. Again, and I, just so you know, a lot of people asking us what we go over in coaching. So we teach you. I'm going to kind of let you know a couple of things too. Brandon Jones, how are you? All right. So this one here, I like this one. Again, the key word today is Brandon Jones saying hello, Vlad, and patience. So if you look over here, perfectly set up situation here but it's also it's not just a two a normal channel we have two ways here so we have a support line and we have a breakout line so th there's two things you want to be patient about one and that's the type of market we're in we are snipers snipers don't just shoot they get ready so over here we're looking for this to break to the downside possibly if it does this could be a heck of a pull put option for sure we have a very very strong uh, downside to this stock. Look at this. Is that right? So yeah, I would say 55 and down with strong volume, which is look like, looking like it might happen. That could be something going on. Brandon Jones, what's up, man? Another elite member who just joined. How are you, brother? Thank you for joining, man. Really appreciate you and we're ready to change your life, sir. All right, cool. So over here, we're looking at um, possibly going to the downside here. Breaking through this, if it does, great. If you're willing to wait and see this get to around 80, that's going to break this long-term trend, and that's another move that's going to make you very happy. Uh, man, Brandon, you're excited. I'm excited. Oh, say hi to Greg Bernhardt, man. He's another elite member. Had an amazing birthday the other day with Felix. What's up, man? He's a good dude, too. So a lot of good members in our group. Serrano Emmanuel, say hello, man. Definitely recommend you guys check out the coaching, book a call with us. Just comment coaching below, just like Joanne did. And uh, we could help you out and take a, you know, see where you're at in life. If not, if it's not for you, no big deal. I just hope you enjoy our show here for free. 
Tori Mayberry is watching. Did you know that? What's up, Tori? I like that name, Mayberry. Such a cool name. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking about this one. Um, any other stocks? I know. Uh, I think uh, Greg asked for BP. No, that was. I thought that it was, was Coach. Coach. Oh, Coach. 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 Yep, yeah, Coach. Yeah. So Coach. So you know, when you do your push-ups, what happens? You know what? I'm going to tell you something on this one. It's a good example of what I'm telling you. We just looked at a stock very similar to this. And if you look, it's exactly what I was saying. It's a very similar pattern, except now you see it play out. So you could see here, it was a very strong move. It broke through all the averages and then poof to the top we go. This was a good time to get in on this one when it broke. Okay, before now I could have told you maybe we could have broke here. It did not. This is a good play. However, right now it's very well stretched. So you can see what stocks do, they move in this thing called A to B, B to C, C to D patterns. So if I look at this, you see how the stock just goes up, 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 goes to the down and then goes to the up. So guess what? If I go back and I'm, again, sometimes you want to look at it from a, a further point of view. So I'm going to go back to maybe a year just to kind of show you something here. If you notice, the stock has that pattern. Most stocks do. It goes A to B, B to C, C to D, right? Right here, A to B, B to C, C to D. A to B, B to C. I'm not practicing my alphabet, I swear. C to D, A to B, B to C. What do you think happens next? You, get the you, got, you have to get a retracement. So if I use something called the Fibonacci, usually we're, we're, we're um, predicting and a 50% retracement. So if I go over here and I put this up here, that we're looking at this to come, come down to like about $20 before it ever goes back up. So that's kind of how that works. You wanna make sure you're really kind of paying attention to that part of it. Mm -hmm. But if you get into here, well, guess what? Now we're looking at a, a big risk of retracement. Do I think the stock is bad? No, I think the stock overall, if I look from the far point, looking pretty good to me, man. It's looking like a long-term good move. And in fact, it just broke this. But at the same time, because it's so far, these moving averages, we got a problem. We need to see a little bit of a downturn before we see an upturn. So it's too much risk to reward to invest in something that's already kind of up there. Mark Cunningham, how are you? Sam Schwartzberg, how are you, brother? Hope you guys are all doing well. Jamal Choice, man, space. We got that. Serrano Emmanuel. Welcome, welcome, everyone. All right, so where, where to next? SPC. SPC? E, yep. SPCE, okay. Yeah. SPCE has been, I think we've been asked this multiple times. Uh, so let's go to, uh, hold on, yeah, SPCE. Right. Yeah, uh, and I told you guys before, I thought this, I was pretty bearish on this one. It was still kind of, it's been going in this very strong trend, bouncing off all the short-term averages to the downside. So, and I told you, I think, I believe I said, listen, if anything, I would put a put option on it. And if you did, you would have made a lot of money but it's definitely not even close to being bullish on it at all. Volume's really high, going to the downside. It's just, it hasn't seen the light of day. The 200 day moving average is over here. So what that means is the overall stocks profitability or the bullishness is over here. Any, it has not even been close to that since uh, August. Hmm. Since August, it kind of tanked and it hasn't looked back. I would stay away from it unless you feel like, you know, there is a consistency here in the bullish in the bearish part of it. So that could be good. But even right now, that's too stretched to the downside as well. And again, if this sounds gibberish to you guys and maybe it's too fast, I have a nice webinar that could really help you out, give you a good understanding of this. And obviously the webinar is gonna show you some of my key steps I use to make money on a weekly basis. So if you're interested in that, comment webinar below. It'll also give you a chance to talk, talk about a little bit of what we do as far as coaches and things like that, if you ever are interested. It's great, great, great um, webinar. Mark Cunningham, one of our elite members. Hello to you too, sir. All right, where to next? There's not many call-outs. Anyway, okay, so yeah, guys, we have a lot of stocks that we could go over with you. If you're interested in any stocks at all for us to review with you, let us know right away. Jamal Choice, we got you in the webinar. Anybody else? Anybody else? Any stocks we have going on, please let us know. Will Brooke, how are you, sir? All right. Um, all right. What happened? Yeah, man, you like that, right? Uh, okay. So since no one's giving us any stocks right now, no big deal. We're going to check out Tesla. How's that? Yeah. Like yeah, that. let's do that. 
All right. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, oh, look at Tesla. All right. So Tesla, I called it the other day. I told you guys, I'm usually not that caught off guard with a stock, but this one right here is just hard to read right now. There's too many things going on with it. And it's, you know, when you, we're going to have to look at this a little bit further out. I'm going to say maybe even, um, we'll do, oh, geez, should we do like, I will do two years because it's really hard for me to read this right now on a weekly. So short term, it's really hard to read because there's so much indecision on the long term. However, I do believe that this stock is going to have some sort of crazy, absolutely crazy breakout. Why? Because it's freaking Tesla. They have earnings next week. They have earnings next week. So, so look at this for a second. This has now been going through this consolidation for a while. Okay, from this nice triangle, and it's coming close and it's in between moving averages. So the reason it's hard for me to read it is it needs to break out to one side or another. The problem with Tesla, whenever it does that, it has some huge moves. You don't believe me? No problem. You don't know me that well to believe me. That's why we got to show you proof. Never believe anyone until they show you proof. They like to consolidate for a long time and break out. For example, look at this. Whenever it has these big moves, it likes to create this triangle and bounce off this green line, which is the 13 day moving average. And then poof, we go. After a while, it'll have these again, little consolidations, but then it breaks down possibly to the downside. Then I wanna show you this. It had for a while, this huge consolidation, just total flatness, very, very flat. And then boom, the key is waiting for that breakout. Right now it's coming together pretty nicely on the short term, but it's looking like the volume is kind of a, the volume is pretty good. It's showing us a little bit of a downturn to the market. So it could be a downturn, could be very hard to read. I will say, I'm going to predict the earnings are going to be very strong, very strong. Could be down, could be up, but it's going to be a pretty big move. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually quicker than that. <clears throat> I think this is going to start popping open maybe this week. So again, to give us more technical on it, now we want to zoom in that we understand this and see how, where are we talking about? So in this case, I would say, honestly, because the stock is so volatile, we'd want to see a nice breakout probably from here. Mm -hmm. So if it, yeah, right. So 1200 is the magic number. Anything below that, we're taking too many risks. I would not, I would not do that. Looking for any good call options. So Here's a good call option for you, coach. I would say this one right here, but we'd have to wait for it to break out here to really get this going. Gerald L. Smith, how are you, sir? So hope that helps you guys. Be very careful with this one. Again, I would not touch it at all until it breaks this part right there. Um, yeah, because it could be dangerous. Cool. Where to next? Uh, Walmart. WMT. WMT. All right. WMT, very similar kind of to Tesla. Um, a lot of moves here, a lot of things. So again, we want to look at this for the, uh, probably a short, uh, blah, longer term, sorry. But I will say right now, you're seeing this downturn on the momentum's coming up. So I could see the stock dropping at least another few dollars. Okay. And man, because you could see it has the A to B, B to C, yeah. C to D pattern. So it only makes sense for this, to, you know, kind of been holding this channel here. But I'm seeing this coming coming down. You're already seeing this bearish day today. I know it has to do with the market, but I'm seeing this turn here. The sector itself, XLP, doesn't look too strong. Yeah. Right now, so I was going to say that with this one right here, I, I would probably be bearish on it. Now, on a longer term basis, let's just kind of look at it from that point of view. Let's say we go, um, I'd rather look at it from a two-year view on a um, weekly, just to kind of take a look. Yeah, so if you look at it from here, again, very similar to um, Tesla. It's just been going in this strong up uh, trend here, but you could see it's beginning to consolidate pretty strong. It's just a matter of, again, keyword of the day is, if you know the keyword of the day, type it in. It starts with the word. Uh, what's the keyword? Who knows the keyword? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Who's the first person to know the keyword? Is it Summit Malo? Mahotra, do you know the keyword? Who knows the keyword? Is it Israel, Maxed, Islam, Polish? Who knows the secret word? Um, okay, so in this case right here, thank you. Nope, Dan, you're wrong. It was just patient. 
not be patient. No, I'm kidding with you. Good, good job. See, coach knows. Coach knows. Dan knows. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, so in here, you need patience. we got to see this break out. So we want to see it at a 150 level or a 130, no, not even, 132, really. But anyway, either one has to break out of those blue lines minimum for us to trade. Otherwise, you're just gambling and you could get lucky, but you may not. So you want confirmation. So patience and confirmation is key. We want to be patient to see confirmation. Mm -hmm. Cool. What's next? Uh, ABT. ABT. All right. ABT is looking. Ooh. ABT is looking. That's all I could say. Um, yeah. So this stock has broken down. And you know what? I want to kind of go over something on this stock. That's a good learning experience is consolidation. So if you were patient here and you saw this little flag pattern form, you would have known that the second this breaks down, this could be a good put option and we're good to go. Okay. Who's giving us all those smileys? Who was that? <laughs> I don't, I don't who, who gave the smileys? Uh, I said something funny. Did I say something funny? I I I, I don't know if I did. Did I? Maybe I, don't I, know. I, I might have. Been, by this point, there's some stuff that I'm already used to. Oh, but. some of the stuff, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you hear so right now, what we're looking at this one is really kind of seeing. I could see this falling over here. I think, yeah. It, it we're looking at this to go to 122, 123, because of the 200 day moving average, and then maybe we start playing. I would just person, personally stay away from it. Anil, ah, shukriya. Thank you for the laughs. All right, cool. Uh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Where to next? XLF. XLF. So XLF is a sector. That's our financial sector. It's looking like it uh, had a big hit today, man. Oof. And it looks to me like it's not slowing down. Yeah. So you could see the momentum is looking pretty down like it looks like it's ready to cross that's a sign of something bad to happen uh, i'm curious to see i want to be patient so again i want to show you kind of just overall random things to teach you how this broke through this average and it popped up now it's ready to come down okay and it usually may count come down all the way to 200 day moving average don't be surprised if that happens because this was the trend here before um i don't know this yeah. one's tough to read right there, now we, a lot of financial uh earnings this week and last week and okay too. yeah so i would be very careful with the financial period right now there's too much volatility M my psychology of trading is no news is good news so we want to look at human psychology when i see craziness happening we wait for the craziness to stop and then the people who want to make money get in uh rich karen how are you man We've got a p h l s see i like how he wrote that long term ray lava what a cool name ray lava there's like the ray of lava. I love that. What's what's next? Uh, F. F. All right, Ford. Ford is going through another patient situation. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm just gonna guess here. What I'm thinking now, obviously, I'm not gonna fully guess, but what we have going on here is a consolidation, a nice consolidation coming through here, right? Or more of like an upper channel, right? Kind of yeah, like this, yeah. but it's it's more of a consolidation in this area. Uh, based on what I'm seeing, it's a little stretched out. So last time it did this was right here. You could see it had a very strong move right here, uh, very long consolidation. When it breaks out, ooh, it breaks out nice. However, on this side right now, it's a little different because we're looking at this is beginning to show a shift of momentum. So I'm going to assume on that, I need confirmation, but I'm going to assume that this thing is ready to calm down and ready to take a dip, but he do. So again, we just have to wait. I think if this thing breaks 23, which is right here, we're going to see some serious, serious bearish movement. All right, guys, if you're enjoying the show, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It is time for our heart challenge. We are trying to beat today 273 hearts. That's what we had last week. So what that is, is we're trying to see if you could click the heart if you're enjoying the show only, if you don't enjoy the show, don't do it. Only if you're enjoying the show, there's a little heart button and it, it goes like this. It, let's see if we could be 273 hearts starting now. All right. We are. Oh, whoa. Okay, guys. You're just like that. 18 hearts. Okay. Look at you guys. I don't know if April's ready to go. Yes. Last time we proved that guys are a lot faster with the right hand and the index finger. So that that's good. Let's see. Oh, we got a lot of people. Ray Lava, is he involved in this? Rich Karen, where are you at? All right. 
So we're up to 115 cards. That was quick, man. That's usually not that quick. I didn't think we might beat it today. Peña Verde, how are you? Very nice, very nice. Good job, guys. All right, so thank you for enjoying the show. Really appreciate it. Let's get this going. We have some more stocks. If you're interested, again, if you are interested in coaching, one-on-one, -on -one, group coaching, we have it all to give you ultimate clarity on the market so you could leave your job, spend time with your family, do the things you want to do. Comment coaching below so we could have a conversation. I'll reach out to you. One of my team members will reach out to you and help you out. Thank you for that, guys. All right, back to business we go. All right, I just like to get some feedback with the hearts. That's all. It's nice to see. There's a spammer? Oh, big spam in the chat. I didn't see that. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Might have got filtered out already. Oh, somebody probably already did. All right, cool. So uh, let's see what we have going on here. All right. We all right. Have, uh, WFC. Uh, you guys ready to get back into this or what? Who's interested in getting more stocks here? Let's do this. All right, let's go. Boom. Oh, did I get more, more of my chart? Sorry about that. All right, cool. So let's oh, look. Yeah. Right. Almost skip one. Oh, we skip one. Oh, no. APHLF. That's the one. What is it? APHLF. All right. Let's get back at APHLF long term, I believe it said, right? There's a lot of letters. That's APHLF. What do you mean? Alpha, alpha lift. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, oh, one of these. Okay. Um, so I'll be honest with you, I don't trade things like this. If you have been here for a while now, long term, I don't know how long term we're talking about. I will look for you. I'm just gonna tell you right away from what I'm seeing, probably not something I would trade. I don't know how old this stock is. Yeah, we'll yeah, go five years, see if there's any. Um, man, it's uh, it's really tough to read, man. It's what a week that was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. What's up, Felix? How are you, bro? It's like, yeah, so there's too much going on. There's a lot of inconsistencies with things like this. It's just a lot of this going on. It's like playing the lottery. I mean, I would just not invest in it personally. Yes, I, I see what you're saying. It could be some big kits or whatever. This is just not something I would play personally. Just giving, letting you know, man. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint, but this is not a stock that I would play. Wait to next. Uh, Wells, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo. Um, Wells Fargo. So this is interesting because this is a, a financial stock, but yet the financial district is in the caca. So this is interesting to see how this is counter trending. Whenever there's something like that happens, I would not trade that because it's counter trending. That's number one. Number two, it's beginning to, so the stock went up and I get it again. It broke through this pattern. This is where you want to trade. Okay. This is where you want to trade. This has a huge, huge momentum shift, which is great. That's great. However, the momentum shift takes is ready to kind of calm down now. And you could see here, you're seeing the turn happen. It's really cute too. Look how you could see kind of, you could see the histogram is beginning to turn. This is beginning to kind of start shifting a little bit. This is beginning to shift. Everything's shifting to the downside, even the RSI. What does that tell me? It's ready to calm down. Thank you for those hearts. I appreciate it. Who is that? Uh, Felix. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Felix Vega wins always cool um awesome i got a i got somebody throwing sad faces in here let's go angry faces but well, you're just clicking buttons at this point well thank you sir what's your next uh, what's up rich karen thank you oh you're welcome into that one how do you feel about pfizer i'm surprised somebody said pfizer pfe pfe how do i feel about pfizer why am i why are you surprised we usually hear about pfizer oh we do i don't remember um, so Pfizer is looking to me like it's coming down, hitting this 50 day moving average. Um, this is an interesting one because I think it's really kind of down below it's where it's supposed to be. So at this point, we're not really training this until we get to around 58. I'm not really happy where it's at. However, because it's a 50 day moving average, we have a uh, nice hammer candle, which could mean if it goes back to the top, I'd be happy, and if, but it has to break that piece right there to get through that. Anybody else have any other <clears throat> stocks? Might be a great day to just analyze and strategize for later in the week. Not, like, not exactly what it is. I know you just came in, Felix, but today, pay, word of the day, according to Pee Wee Herman, is patience. Patience. We want to wait and we want to see. This is not the time to get in. This is the time to prepare. We are snipers and we prepare. We tell you st stocks yeah. to wait and buy and no, not right now. What's next? Anybody else have any stocks at all? 
no, no, no. So again, guys, very important, okay? Please be patient on the market. Patience is everything. You want to wait for confirmations. If you're not waiting for confirmations, it could really, really hurt you, okay? Just, I wanted to also let you know, if you're new here, welcome. You probably want to get one of our webinar, comment webinar below, and we got you, okay? And if you're interested in coaching, like I said, comment coaching below. Uh, we've had some great, great students recently who did an amazing job making some good money. So it's all about um, clarity, and that's something we provide for you. Uh, for some, it's great. For some, it's not. But we'd love to talk to any of you who are interested. Um, and it's not for people who are just don't have time to spend an hour a week with a coach. Probably not a good idea then. All right, cool. But if you're ready to change your life, comment coaching below. Beatrice Saraga Gale, how are you? What, what, uh, I saw PHUN. Yeah, so this one's also one of those stocks that I don't really trade. It's been going in this part. I mean, you're waiting for this breakout kind of, but you got to be careful with stocks that low. It could really affect you in a negative way if you don't do it the right way because it could just hurt. Yes, you want this $24 move, but sometimes it could really just bounce down. It's too, Yeah, it's just a waiting game. It's a gambling game. Not my type of stock. I'm sorry. Uh, UT, what's up, Steve Suminski? I don't think I've ever seen Steve Suminski in here. Maybe I did. Radu Danielle, what's up, man? Uh, UT, uh, I, I can't find UT. Is this a different symbol, maybe? I don't see it in here. MA, MA, let's see. MA, <clears throat> so May has a it's an interesting one here. I never, I don't think I've ever seen a May before. We're gonna look at it right now. All right, so MA has an upswing, looks like over here. Hmm. Um, so right now you could see it's kind of forming this consolidation. I would really like to see it break through that pattern. To me, that would be very interesting to see if it just goes through. Now I'm going to say even kind of to be safe, would we say over here? That's fair. That's fair? Yeah, yeah. Or over here. I would say around the middle. So I would say 385. Anything yeah. past 385, we're looking at a huge, huge piece when it's coming to the bullish side. However, we have to wait for that. Otherwise, we could we also are looking at the 200 day moving average that if it falls down here, that could be a very bad turn. Again, we're in a market today of patience. We gotta see what's going on. So uh, Steve, does that help you out? Please let me know. If you have any other further questions, I don't think I've ever seen here, uh, just let me know. Uh, UL, okay, no problem. Let's look at UL. UL is going through a lot of consolidation, looks like. So something happened. What did, whoa. What? I didn't <laughs> I see that. Right so I was going to say, usually something like this will, will make a big move. I didn't see it already made a big move. Okay. Yeah. So this is news driven. I don't know what the news are, but usually with a gap this big, something got announced in after uh, after hours or pre, pre-market. pre uh, No problem, Steve. Thanks for joining. Um, and, you know, obviously something happened here. So I would not even do anything with this right now because it's so out of pattern. It wasn't pattern and then it got out of pattern. So now we just want to see what happens. Might go down, might go up. But at the, at the, at the end of the day, when it does something like that, be careful. You're in unknown territory. So anybody else have any other stocks they want us to review? Brad Pratt, how are you, man? All right, cool, 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 cool. I think we're good to go today. Yeah, it's not a lot going on. Again, guys, I'm going to tell you again, that on Thursday, we are preparing for something I think is going to be big if the market does the right, right sense. So, sorry, I was just reading two things at once. So the idea is once the market is ready to reverse, it's going to be a big opportunity, okay? And if you just join, I'm just going to show you one more time what I'm talking about so you could see visually what I'm talking about. So if you look at SPY, which is the overall market here, and if I go to a two-year chart, this is what we want to really understand how big this is on a weekly basis here. So here, two-year, boom, you could see and the golden point is here. And in fact, since we've been talking here, it's already looking pretty good for us. Every time it bounces off this 20-day moving day average on a weekly term, it makes huge huge, huge moves. It's back here again. It's ready to go. I think we're going to have a very bullish week as soon as it reverses, but get confirmation. That's what we're waiting for. 
So again, I'm showing you a longer term picture because we might have to wait a little bit. Okay. So we're going to look at a few more stocks before we go here. Uh, Nike. Huh? I didn't see Nike. So. Yeah, Nike. Come on, bro. Don't discriminate against Nike. Yeah, so Nike also um, has... So Nike went below its 200-day moving average. That's a, and I told you guys before, I think last week, you be careful with this one. Anything that goes that below its mark is a problem. Um, so you could see, I mean, this one was going for, in a good direction, well, downward direction. Now it broke through it. Now we're messing with this. I think I told you I like Nike if it, if it uh, hits here. Never hit here. Never hit here. So because it never hit, we got a problem. So let's look at a, a longer term view. I think on a longer term, it looks better. But we'll do uh, not as long. We'll do maybe uh, a year. So if you look at a year, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not looking good for this one right now. So we, we still have a little bit to go for uh, to, hit these, uh, to hit this part right here. Because it already broke through. So that's the next line we're looking at. We need to see it hit first and then we want to see a reversal and then we could talk but again patience 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 is the key to this market right now the best the best strategy for the day is to play golf what's the next thanks for giving your time to oh no problem jimmy i appreciate that man it's really nice to see you Shoot. you know what? hold up i gotta give jimmy some love okay there you go. <laughs> all right cool uh dan liam chewy dan liam chewy all right cool let's see here C H was it W I yep that's what it was. Um, another one that's way below its two hundred day moving average. So I, I know um, Dan, you're in our course, so you're gonna get to get to learn a little more in detail with this. You're in our coaching sessions here. You're gonna be talking to Elliot a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna get you to a point where you could start making really good gains. You could leave the job if you want to. Um, so yeah, I could see here, it's going on a downtrend. I mean, right now it's looking like it's in a doji situation with an indecision, but realistically it's beta decision. It goes A to B. So you see the swings here, it got down. It's just continuously going down. So I don't see the stock turning around anytime soon, to be honest. And if it does, we need to see the trend breaking for this to break this channel. We need to see, get to all the way to like 58 to 66. Then I'm, I would say, hey, this is a good stock. Right now, it's nowhere near there. Sorry, I joined Lynn. Anything to say about Activision bought into this morning? No, we didn't look at that. Let's check it out. Activision. Yeah, Microsoft Catalyst behind it. Activision. Uh, Thank you. Oh, well, you know, so this is obviously news driven. There's some announcement that was made with Microsoft. Yeah. Microsoft bought them out, I thought. Did they really? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So yeah, so something like this, this is already the news is over. And a lot of times people want to get into it and kind of, oh man, I don't, you know, it could go up, it could, but there's no pattern to this. So I try, when I trade, I look for specific patterns to what I'm doing. I try not to fall in love with things like this. This is kind of like, a, almost like a trap, you know, unless you knew about it here, yes, that's great. But if you did not know, now, yeah, it could make a little bit of a move, but it could also, hey, come right back down, you know, maybe not as low, but it's just a, a gamble here. I don't think, even already, if you think about it, it went up to 87, it already fell a bunch yeah. of points and it's going to 200 day moving average. It didn't move up much from open. No, it did not. I will say that because it's here, it's a, I wonder if it's going to hold the 200 day moving average. I would want to see maybe over the next week or two, see mm -hmm. if it holds and maybe it will continue going up. But now we're going based on a lot of news. I personally, when I see this, that's not a stock for me. I just go somewhere else. I I don't, is Activision a good put place for Friday? Oh man, I can't oh, tell you that. Huh? So that's very short term. It is very short term. It is. I, I just, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because we don't know. There's too much activity and there's too much gambling going on. Because we don't know how this news affects different things. Like, you know, this is just an initial news. It could be great or it could not be great. I just can't tell you. And I don't want to lie to you and just make something up. I just don't know. Um, I will say if it holds 200 day moving average, we've got to see, we got to see, let the stock form. But unfortunately, things like this, when they happen, they already happen. And I, I wish it would have maybe went a little bit higher and then continued going up, but this is too high. Yeah, it went way crazy. above. It was just a huge announcement. $83. So be careful with huge announcements. They're all over the news, and that's what happens with people. 
Uh, what's up, Kyle Monahan? Uh, oh yes, Microsoft is acquired gaming. Yep, it makes Call of Duty and game. That's pretty cool. That's a big thing for Activision. Ouch! Thanks. I value your opinion. Ouch! Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, I didn't hurt anybody. But thanks, man. I appreciate it. No problem, Dan. Again, w- welcome back. And uh, I accidentally kicked Dan out of the group by accident. It was a total <laughs> accident. Total uh, long story, but I, ap- I apologize to him. But thanks for understanding. And then he. He joined our coaching group too. So thanks for everything, Dan. Where to next? He, Keisha Thomas Danielle, man. How are you? That's the last one I saw there. All right. Anybody have any other stocks? If not, like I said, keyword patience for the market. That's what we're looking for. Um, real quick, guys. Right now, we are just letting you guys know we have a couple more spots left for our one-on-one coaching. We still have a few spots for a group coaching. If you're interested, we're probably going to be closing the doors for this quarter in the next seven days, uh, probably five days. I don't know, somewhere around there. So if you're still interested, I know a few of you guys emailed me. A few of you guys uh, reached out to me personally. Either reach out to me personally, DM me, or uh, comment coaching below. We're going to set up our last few interviews for that. So please let us know. And we'll do that for you and see if, if you qualify. Otherwise, uh, I think we're starting a waiting list after that. Uh, let's check out a real quick ALF. ALF, ALF, ALF. Uh, all right. So, yeah, ALF has a very consistent, consistent thing going on. So, what, what we're seeing here is a nice move to the downturn. You know, um, it's just been bouncing off this average. So if, again, this one, you, you would require patience to make money because it makes little moves. Obviously, it's a short term, but you got to be careful at all times. It could just pop up and it could really hurt you. But realistically, it's just been go bouncing off this down to the downturn. As long as you're doing a put option and you're okay with sitting there. But again, I wouldn't mess with it because at any point, it could just pop open and it could lose all your money. So if you want to invest a little bit into it, just kind of let it sit. You'll make some okay money. But again, I'd be, I'd be very careful. They don't have options. I don't really trade things like this. But if you're going to, just see the consistency of it. It's right, To me right now, I wouldn't trade it. i wait till it maybe gets to the green line and then trade into it. Uh, Mr. Coach himself, GLD. No problem, John. Anytime, sir. Uh, GLD. Oh. Some gold, a lot of volatility with gold. Gold's been very uh, indecisive for us here. So you could see, um, yeah, it's just a lot of ups and downs. I'm going to say uh, it looks like right here it's kind of forming something. But realistically, it's just a lot of ups and downs here. It's I would say it's, I'm, I don't know, man. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. And especially the fact that it moves with the market, um, like the opposite of the market. I would say if it goes back past 172, it means the market's probably not doing so well. And then we got a situation. What's up, Frank? How are you, bro? Netflix and Roblox. Somebody's stopping by. Uh, Netflix. <laughs> Netflix has been very bearish. Very, very bearish. It's, it hasn't. I've been waiting for it to turn around. I mean, I personally like the stock, but it's it's just been not its thing. Um, I do like where it's at for one reason, because if we zoom out a little bit here, yeah, you're gonna. Spot, it's going right? to a sweet spot. And that's what I'm waiting for that sweet spot, man. I can't wait for that sweet spot because that sweet spot is right here. Don't tell anybody about the sweet spot. (laughs) But we're talking about right, boom, right at that support line. So we're waiting just to see a reversal happening here. And then once it does, oof, we're going to have some good stuff. But again, comes down to patience. Everything in this market, every, I don't think I've I've seen one stock yet that I I think buy, buy, buy. Because that would just be an injustice to anybody. It's not the type of market right now. We're waiting. I thought it would reverse. It didn't reverse. That's why I don't get in. I'd rather not get in and force something, right? Forcing leads to losses. Um, but yeah, right now, this one right here, I like the spot where it's at, but we're not doing anything. Because at any point, I'm saying, I think it could reverse. It's a good spot. But all we're doing is testing. If it goes beyond this, then guess what? The next spot is going to be over here. You know, it's going to go down all the way to 480. I don't know where it's going to end up. So that's what, what we want to see, a reversal, a good two, three-day reversal. Then we could start investing in it. And again, and to really kind of see where that would happen, look at this channel right here. I would like to see it break this channel. So if it gets to like around 600, 
I'm going to tell you, man, that could be a good situation for us. That could be a good turnaround in the up direction. And it's, just, it's, it's normal for this to happen. You can see it happened before. And what happened? The stock went up nicely. We played to the downside. Right now, it's dead center. It's just at this point, just gambling if you try to guess. So you, if, you, if you're allergic to money and you like to gamble, maybe you like that rush, get, in, get into the stock now. If you want to play smart, I would wait. Cool. ROB locks, yeah. Rob locks, RBLX. Okay, cool. RBLX looking like we have. So this stock just hit its 200 day moving average. It's beginning, it's trying to find its identity because it is a new stock. So, you know, right now it's found an identity of bearishness. Wait, and then went below its usual average. Not something I would invest in, especially with something like this. Um, I would wait till it gets to 110. And then I think then it's going to show us a little bit of a, an identity that it likes. Because at first, it was kind of flat, had a big up, but had a big down. Because it's such a newer stock still, not that I wouldn't invest in it, I would just wait for a good confirmation of ups, upside, which is above this 50-day moving average. 110 would mean that this stock is probably going to make a big move to the upside. All right. Uh, ben Hook, man, another one of our elite members. What's up, bro? Say hello. Tibut. Hmm. Uh, Thankachan. No shot. Yeah. Thankachan. I think I said it right. What about Spotify? What about Spotify? Good music. So Spotify. Spotify is looking like, again, all the tech stocks are down right now, guys. There's nothing I'm going to tell you that to buy right now. It's just, you know, it'll do injustice for you. And we don't want to do that. Um, looks like, oh, and right now it's even worse because this one just broke its support. Definitely not something I would want to look at at, at this moment. It could be a bit, you know, could even go down all the way to 200 the way I'm looking at it from this chart. I would wait. I'd be patient with this one. I'd like to see it back to 255 if I'm going to invest in it. Uh, Gio, see ya, Gio. Mogavera. What's up? That's my boy right there, Gio. Good dude. What's up, Gio? How are you? So, yeah, guys. So, again, if you're, if you're interested in coaching, comment coaching below. We'd love to talk to you. If you haven't seen our webinar yet, um, it'll really give you a great understanding of our six steps to six figures, how you could e you easily start making money every week. Where I just give them to you. So just comment webinar below. I got a, a few of you on the list here uh, to help you out. If you already commented, don't comment again. So, But if you're interested, let me know. I will send it to you. Just comment uh, webinar below. What on earth is up with Roblox? Huge money maker as a company, but just can't stop dropping. Yeah, no, you know what? This happens. It happens like that for what it just does. The key is just being patient. I do think that uh, it, it'll turn around. I do think that. But the reality is um, the problem, I'll tell you why it happens, is because the company made money too quick. So when it does a, a huge move like that, I got you, Steve. Um, when it's going this high and it's so stretched, it's like a rubber band effect. It doesn't, it's, nothing goes up forever. And a lot of times, unfortunately, because it's so stretched, everybody starts collecting their gains and start, start all these things. And it just keeps going down. That just happens. Unfortunately, that's what happened. But once it starts reversing, it could be a good thing. We just have to wait. Um, I think it might even go down to, to, to about 70 before it goes back up. Oh, to start here. What's up there? Yeah. Um, Adam, I am interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching. All right, Adam. So I'm going to reach out to you. And I'll, so I'll definitely uh, help you out there. No problem. Uh, if either me or one of my team members will reach out to you and give you all the information you could fill out and we could get on a call with you. We'll give you um, a questionnaire. See what your life is all about. Dan, webinar. I'll make sure you use of, uh, Dan, you don't need the webinar. If you're an elite member, um, I think it's already included. I'll send you the link anyways but you're already an elite member. So you have the whole package anyways. But if you'd like, I would still send it to you. No issues at all. Leonard Whaley, how are you? Jose Perez, what's up, man? All right, guys. So like I said, man, if you notice, uh, one of the things we're going to keep, keep, we keep it real here. I do not like give anybody any knowledge that's not um, pertaining to, uh, I don't want to just tell you to buy things or sell things. It just doesn't work that way, man. It's a different type of market right now. We just want to be honest. Today's word is patience. I am going to tell you guys, Thursday, if I see a turnaround, which could happen, we're going to talk about some big moves. There's an average of six days on the market, okay? Six days on the market that really you could swing trade. Now, if you're in our 
uh, coaching group, you know how we teach you how to do passive income. If you know how to do passive income where you collect a paycheck every week from the market, okay, this is the time to do that. You want to continuously do that. That doesn't matter. That's still going to work in this type of market right now. However, if you want to do swing trading the right way with the right human psychology behind it, then you want to wait, okay? So just letting you know that, guys. And I got a lot of you guys interested in the webinar, but I will tell you a story. I had a, a client recently who... Um, I guess they lost their job really, you know, they were in IT really, really tough time for them. They actually ended up joining our coaching not too long ago and just seeing the results of what they've been doing. They've been with us for a little bit. Now what's cool about coaching is it's quick. You know, they joined Elliot's program. They did their thing. They really focused a lot. They knew how to analyze those charts pretty well after getting, uh, I think like three coaching sessions, really paper traded. But now I see them making around 15 to 16, 15 to 18,000 for the last couple of months, which is pretty cool. You know, and then we have Lori, obviously people like that who made a hundred grand in three months. Felix lost, uh, left his, he was just here, left his job to play disc golf for a living, which is pretty freaking cool. He left a banking job. So just want to thank everybody who's in the elite group. I'm looking forward to working with Dan. Uh, Elliot's going to work with you. You know, Elliot has been giving some amazing, amazing results. So guys, if you're still interested, we got like three spots left in this coaching and then you go on a wait list uh, for a few months. But if you're interested, definitely let me know. We will send you a questionnaire to fill out, book a call for you, talk to you more about your life, see if it is the right fit for you. And then if it's not, that's fine too. Either way, what we do right now to help people out, if the coaching is not for you, we'll still give you a free course, a free uh, like it's like a four hour course that's going to give you the basics of different things like options and swing trading. Is there a fee to joining the coaching? Of course, there's a fee. Yep, there is a fee to join. Um, we talk about it that's customized. The fee is customized. So, we're basically, based on what you need, where your level is, we design a customized program for you. Right? Um, we have a specialist who really understand what you need, how to give it to you the right way. And then Elliot performs all the necessary steps with you he's kind of like your right hand person and anybody else who needs that that's what we do because the only way to really get your results is to customize it for you you can't just give somebody a bunch of videos and say here not it's not a cookie cutter thing that's why a lot of people fail in the market um trust me i wish it would work that way it's great money for us but the reality is what we focus on is a is one-on-one -on -one for a reason there is a fee that we'd love to talk to you about it it's not for everybody. Like I said, if you're not looking to take your time, if you're looking for just, hey, give me a stock pick. I want one right now. I love going over it with you guys here. But if you're looking to get a good foundation and learn the right way so you could do it yourself, not rely on anybody, that's a hard thing to do. That's what we specialize in. So it's a lot more work, but that's what we do. Yeah, and I see Anthony definitely changed his life. I know he's part of our program as well. Use money to make money. Yep, Dan, Dan you're going to be learning a lot of that. And I, I, overall, Dan, let me let me know. I know you just started a couple of days ago, but I know the, how do you like in the program so far? I'm curious to see what you think. Um, but yeah, Anthony, what about you? How, how did you like the program? Max at Islam Polash, what's up, man? But yeah, guys, that's what we do. Um, we're very straightforward about it. If it's not for you, it's not for you. We will provide, like I said, if you're just interested in just, I'm glad you like it, Dan. So Dan said, Good, do, 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 do. geez, man, can you buy a vowel? I appreciate that, Dan. Thanks, bro. Um, yeah, if you're interested in like just finding out even a little bit about it, that's cool too. I'm six weeks in and it's amazing. Yeah, oh, Greg is actually one of our members. I wish him a happy birthday from last week. Felix and him, January 11th was his birthday, I believe. I think I'm right on that. Um, so yeah, happy birthday to Greg again. Anybody else whose birthday it is? I learned the first week module already. I learned, oh yeah, from the first, from the fifth week. Yeah, we got the fifth week in there. No, guys, um, again, I want to just thank all the elite members that joined. It's been a pleasure just watching your progress. Uh, I talk to Elliot all the time about you guys and how you're doing, and we make the program better all the time. But the key is what we want to do is we're looking for people who are, because a lot of people ask me these questions. So I wanted to review it here. Uh, people who are currently working, who are tired of their job, maybe have kids, want to see their kids more often, but there is no way out. There's just no way out. Unfortunately, you kind of deal with the rat race. You got to deal with it because of the paycheck. So we look at that and we understand, we're not telling you you're going to leave your job tomorrow. That's unrealistic. 
But what we do is we create a game plan with you at your time. You book your own coaching sessions. You, so whenever's the right time for you, you do your own practice trades. We show you how to do that. And then we work with you one-on-one -on -one and we give you one-on-one -on -one coaching to give clarity for you so quick on demand that the progress is a lot faster. All right, let's see. Uh, when I came in, what does Anthony say? I knew nothing means nothing. I didn't even know what a candlestick was. 60 days later, I was free from the W-2 handcuffs and I never looked back. Damn, Anthony, that's the pretty w good, man. Handcuffs. The W-2, I like the W-2 <laughs> handcuffs. Hey, listen, I've had my own situation with that. I work for corporate store, different corporate gigs, things like that. I've worked for the same company actually for over 20 years. And, you know, it's 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 a lot. I, I don't like the politics and things like this. I'm a pretty straight up dude. So if, if that's you and you're looking for a way where you could learn from a coach and understand the knowledge where you're able to pick up, and here's what we do. We teach you, number one, the trading analysis. When we look at charts, how to screen charts, how to read charts, how to do all those things instantly. So it's not about watching the news, reading the papers or whatever it is people do. All that is just hype, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a manipulated market. We show you how to find the right stock and try it and trade it by psychology. The reason I could read charts so quick and go back to any of my lives and you could see the accuracy of what we say. Pretty freaking accurate. Otherwise I wouldn't be doing this in public. We do that for a reason because it's so, if you know what you're doing, you could find plays quick. That's number one. Number two, we show you how to do with a small bank account by, by using options. So options helps you to really take the market Find the right place, and instead of investing hundreds of thousands of dollars, you invest 200, 300, 500. So we help you build your account. And then finally, the third step and the final step, we take what you've built. Once you get to like 20, 25,000, we'll help you build that. Then we put it into something called the paycheck collector. We explain that in the webinar. If you haven't gotten, comment webinar. And then what we do there is we actually take and show you how to use, how to use, uh, spreads and things like that to build a passive income and that's what the paycheck collector does for you what's up marty burke so if you're interested again comment coaching below we will send you a questionnaire we will talk to you one-on-one -on -one a little bit book a call about probably like a zoom session or something like that with one of our members and find that and we will see if it's the right fit for you great if not no big deal i already i instructed for this week uh, we will be giving one, one of our Predator courses away, which will give you a great foundation for no charge, just for even just taking the time to speak. It shows that you're interested and you're motivated. We want to give you something. So again, if you're interested, comment below. Overall, looks like we got a lot of things done today, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure dealing with all of you. Alex, Alexandra, I see you just got in here. Marty Burke, thank you for joining. Um, Thursday, we're going to be back. Thursday is probably going to be the day where we're going to, we're going to see a reversal. If not, could be a downturn. Either way, we're going to show some great opportunities. Right now, today's patience. Today we wait. Today we learn. Today we, we observe and we prepare our watch list for the next big day. Out of the six, remember, six big days in the month. We're, today's not one of them. Today we prepare for that day. Uh, and if you enjoyed the show today, before we go, Bob Benish, let's get some thumbs up in here, some hearts before we go. Let's give us some, some good stuff here. Give me that energy to go. For some reason, every time we do the hearts, guess what happens? The market gets bullish. Let's get the bullish energy up. There we go. Love it. Love it. Love it. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much, Mohammed Garib. What's up, man? How are you? Long time no talk. Guys, Bob Benish, appreciate another elite member. Glad you're enjoying the course. Again, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope to really see some of you guys make the decision to check out the coaching. I think it's really going to be beneficial. To, for your life at the end of the day if not then what okay if that's not the way out what's the way out so really again i really appreciate every single one of you i will see you all on thursday